Hello, you're watching Keystone Science, and today we're going to talk about light. There are many different kinds of light. The light that we physically see is called visible light. That's self-explanatory because visible means able to see. The light that we can physically see consists of red, orange, yellow, blue, green, purple, going up the wavelengths in that order, meaning red has the longest wavelength, and then all the way up to purple has the shortest wavelength of the visible light spectrum. But there is a lot more kinds of light than just this. Light is electromagnetic. Its charge is neutral. The electromagnetic spectrum ranges in frequencies going up from radio waves to microwaves to infrared waves, then to the visible light spectrum, and then to ultraviolet and gamma and other sorts of really short frequency radiation. These frequencies range in quite a bit. For instance, some radio waves can be lengths of football fields frequencies, meaning between troughs they are the length of a football field. Gamma rays can then be the length of the atomic nucleus. But what is light? Is light a wave or is it a particle? You can go ahead and think about this for a moment. Okay. We used to think light was a wave. This was due to an experiment called the dual slit experiment in which a paper or something like that had two slits in it and then light was shown through and it gave off the same patterns we would see in a wave, that is, it diffracted. Some notable scientists, including Einstein, came along and said, no, wait, it can actually be a particle too. He did an experiment in which he shined ultraviolet lights at an electrical plate and then found that electrons are being pushed off the plate, which means that it needed to have been particles, because that's what it was showing, waves don't do that. So this led to kind of a controversy, but they came out with a theory called wave-particle duality. What this means is that light can be a wave and a particle, but not at the same time. They cannot exist as a wave-particle, they can only exist as a wave or a particle, but it can be different. This is entering into the fields of quantum mechanics, so I won't go super deep into this, but basically it all depends on the observer and has stuff to do with relativity too. Light reaches the fastest speed that is theoretically possible. We'll be talking about why this is in another video, but I will say this, you cannot slow down the speed of light. You may be thinking, oh, well if I shine this flashlight into a pond, it's going to go slower because you can see the light diffract and things like that. Well, no, the light is actually just taking a longer path. The light, instead of going straight through, is going around things. Just like how you can travel 50 miles per hour in a straight line to one spot and get there faster than if you were to travel 50 miles per hour and weave in and out of tons of different roads. But you are still traveling the same speed, just not into the same place at the same amount of time. If you would like to learn more in depth about light, there are a lot of things I did not cover in this video because of the sake of going into things that are too complex for the average person who is wanting to learn about what light is. I have put some videos in the description that will better describe some of the quantum mechanics of light and how it acts the way it is. If you enjoyed this video and want to get updates about the weekly videos I'll be putting out, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. You can adjust in your YouTube settings whether you want to receive emails or not, but it will show up in your subscription feed. You can also follow me on, this, on the Twitter page, Keystone Science, with a zero instead of an O, also linked in the description, and there is also a Facebook page. So thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day.